Hey, it's Ingress from the Levels here with a um, new video series that I'm uh, trying out. This one is for, um, you know, if you follow me on uh, True Achievements, I write blogs. Uh, I started this recently, uh, whenever I complete a game. No? You know, and you know, I also make videos, so I decided why not combine the two, you know, I, I, I often make uh, walkthrough videos or uh, first 15 minute type of videos like previews, uh, but uh, neither of those videos really give me a chance to talk about the game after completing it. And sometimes, you know, I want to give you my impression of the game, not like uh, professional review stuff, but I want to show you what's, what's the game like after I'm done with it, rather than, you know, my first 15 minutes or I'm trying to walk you through 41,000. I'm of course going to give you some tips about how to complete the games and what the games are like and uh, stuff like that. So it's going to be like a semi-professional review. Uh, I'm trying this out. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if there's anything I can do to improve or uh, anything you want to see, let me know in the comments. Uh, you, can, uh, you can leave a comment on my blog or uh, on the YouTube channel. Alright, so let's get started. This is for the Disney Afternoon Collection. Uh, the game came out on the on April 18th, 2017. I completed it on uh, April 22nd, which is when I'm recording this video. This it took me maybe about 10 hours, uh, 10 to 15 hours. Not a terribly long game. It's a collection of six games. So let me show you what games are included. So. Um, if you grew up in the 80s, 90s, uh, if you were a kid back then, you probably will um, watch some of these videos. Uh, not videos, these cartoon, cartoons. So, you got DuckTales, yeah, and Chip and Dale's, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, Darkwing Duck. These are, you know, the kind of spin-off from DuckTales, I think. I don't remember a separate cartoon tail spin or Darkwing Duck. Personally, there may be, there may have been one, but I'm not sure about it. DuckTales 2 and Chippendales 2. So basically six games, um, and each of the games have a um, similar structure, so I'm gonna show you one here. So you can play the regular mode. This would be just like same thing when, when you build it up in your Nintendo Entertainment System. This is what you're gonna play. Uh, and I'll be showing you some of them, uh, of course, but how to play is just the manual, basically. Uh, time attack, same thing as play, but you're timed. Uh, and boss rush is just exactly that. You're gonna play the just the boss fights. You're gonna skip every other level. You're just gonna play the boss fights. All right. So, hmm. let me show you the game a little bit. I'll show you a little bit of the of each game. Uh, hmm. How should I show it? Let me show you the play mode of this game. So you got this game. DuckTales and DuckTales 2 are the only two games in this six collection that has a difficulty level. You can choose easy. You can, you can start from any level, but I'll start from the moon here. I'm gonna show you how, uh, how you how you beat the moon level here. Uh, I suck. Basically, use the pogo stick like that. Oh, shit. You can rewind if you die in the arcade mode, the regular mode. Uh, you can rewind to any point in the regular mode here. Why am I, why am I doing this so stupidly here? Yeah. There we go. I don't know how to avoid that. Okay, I need that guy to follow me. I saw this in a speedrun video, basically. You face this way and you hit, get hit, you fall down like that. Yeah, I'm desperately running low on health. But I can abuse the, abuse the systems of the game. So I died. But let's go back a little bit. I can, I can like, really abuse this. Let's 
but I can I can be where the where that Shit. I know he's gonna jump so I'm gonna Use this as much as you want. You wanna, you know where these guys gonna jump now. There we go. That's how you beat this luck, this game here. As as far as the achievements go, you basically have to beat the game, each of the games in the regular mode, and then the time attack mode, and then the boss rush mode. For the time attack, you gotta beat it under two hours. Uh, for the boss rush, you gotta beat it in one hour. But it's nearly impossible to go over two hours to beating the game, and it's pretty hard to get one hour. That will be a feat in itself for the boss rush. I mean, it's possible. I mean, if you really suck at the game, but yeah, it's gonna be really difficult to do that. And there is a one, couple other miscellaneous such which is uh, for beating every game in the regular mode. That'll come, of course, if you do beat all of the games. And you can abuse the rewind system. I'll show you. You can change the button configuration if you like. Reset the game, and you can abuse this uh, for um, the thing. You can save anywhere, like save here, for example. Yeah, I will overwrite my save. Okay. Yeah. Let's say. Yeah, let's say. You know, I I go a little bit. I don't feel like rewinding. I totally fucked up. Rewind would take too much time. Just come here. Not like that. Go to load game. And you're back to where you saved. There is an achievement for beating the game without using the rewind. You can abuse the save load. Um, so. Same thing. Saving and loading takes a little bit of time. This invisible. Thing. Saving and loading takes a little bit of time, so rewind is faster. But for one game, you know, you can abuse the save load system to get the get the achievement. If you're good enough to beat the game without having to save and load, good for you. But if you are having trouble, you know, there's your easy way out. That's it. Uh, the controls are a little bit different because the select and start buttons, or the hamburger and the uh, view buttons, are used as the select and start button on the um, actual NES system. So they use the LB and RB system. If you remember, the NES only had the A and B buttons, so you got plenty of buttons left over to use. I'm gonna quit out of this. Show you another game, another mode, Chip and Dale's this time. Uh, Let's yeah. let's show you the time attack. For time attack, you can watch. You can watch uh, someone's play, or you can actually play. Um, and for this, let's watch Vixinians play, or you can race against them if you want. Up to you. As you can see, as I said, like two hours is pretty easy. It's because, except for maybe Tailspin, all of the games take me take about 10-15 minutes. If you go really slow, 30 minutes. Tailspin takes, depending on how you play, it can take like 40 minutes or 20 minutes. I think like 25 minutes is a good good estimate for uh, Tailspin. But yeah. Basically, you're gonna be playing the same thing if you um, if you are playing the time attack, but you'll be controlling the character and uh, the screen will be same like this. Yep. And if you don't know how to do the speed do the speed run, you can watch the top players, or of course you can YouTube for it for it as well. Just uh, type something like uh, Ducktales NES. Speed run, and there will be a lot. Okay, there you go. So that's time attack. Mm, same with the boss rush. 
I'm trying to show you all the games a little bit. Um, okay. For the boss rush, same. You can watch, race. I'll play. I'll play a little bit, show you. As you can see, rewind is not available in time attack or boss rush. Save is not available. See? Okay, the way this game works. You gotta ah, shit. That's okay. It's not a big deal. I already got the boss here. There you go. Just need to beat all the bosses. Very, very easy. Shit. And uh, for Tailspin, this is a totally upgraded ship. You got the, you got like all the rapid fires, everything. So this is quite easy. I'm gonna show you dying or what happens if you die during a boss fight. <laughs> and this is what makes the, uh, it like almost impossible to get more than an hour. I'll get killed by this guy. And you'll see what happens. Don't, don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> Alright, I'll die here. And... You just respawn at the boss fight. I will show you how to beat all the bosses uh, for this for this game. Tailspin and Darkwing Duck uh, were both a little bit of a newer game to me. I have played um, DuckTales, I played Rescue Rangers, especially DuckTales. I mean, that's, that was fresh to me, sorry. Because, uh, you know, it was remastered on um, Xbox 360 and I played it. And it was also one of my favorite games uh, when I was growing up, so... Uh, who doesn't love swimming in gold, right? Like Scrooge. Never tried it. I think it would hurt, actually, to swim in gold coins. Anyways, that's besides the point. It does look cool. You can only hit them when they're when they're attached together. Oh, shit. The guys only uh, possible attack points is that bow tie. Unfortunately, there's no like boss and energy counters in this, but it game is not very not that hard. Uh, for this, this one is pretty hard to do um, without getting hit. But the way to do that is basically like, lower that ball. Kind of do it, do it like this. I got hit once. It's okay to get hit like once. Should I get hit twice? Yeah, twice is okay. This one is the stupidest boss that I've ever seen. You just stay here and keep shooting up like this. This is the only way to damage the boss, and he can't damage me because. The, there's a block right above me that almost felt like a bon bonus boss, like it's giving you the points. Like here's here's um, no, rest area basically. This one is also very easy. You just go like this, and it all almost all. Not almost all, it always gives you a heart in the middle of the fight. So if you got hurt a little bit. But I never really needed to use it, like you saw me get hit once, just once there. For this one, I found it easier. I, in the speed runs, the guys who do crazy stuff, turn around and all that. I found it easier to just stay like that for this part of the fight. 
if you die here, you do go back to the first part of the uh, battle. You have to fight that uh, first thing again. Yeah, you just stay on top like that and keep shooting. And destroy this engine here. There you go. Done. That's it. And you see, you save in the leaderboard. Don't know if I improve my score. I probably did worse. Okay, that's tail spin for you. Uh, and DuckTales 2 and Chip and Dale 2 is basically the same game as the uh, first game. Uh, first games, uh, just more of the same. Darkwing Duck is also a similar uh, platform game. So I'll show you a little bit of that. Actually, I'll show you the uh, time attack version because I never show you the time attack playing. As I said, it's the same as the uh, watching, but, it, but you're controlling the character. So Darkwing Duck is kind of a hero type of character here. Yeah. Um, so, alright, I, I showed you all the games, but I haven't really talked about them, except like I, that I loved playing this game back in the days. Alright, so... I had so much fun while playing this game. Um, it brought back a lot of memories. Usually when... Um, like the emulation, uh, old school games are collected. It's really f just for nostalgia, and if, if you never play them, it's not that fun. And if you play them, there's a little bit of a, how do you say, like nostalgia kind of a correcting behavior. But for me, at least for me, um, this game is, is just perfect. Um, I didn't stop playing uh, except for a little bit of Neo Geo gaming. Uh, um, um, and yeah, I just kept playing. Um, and the achievements weren't too easy, it wasn't too hard. So I really like that. I feel for this kind of game, they need to make the achievements kind of challenging but not to the point that I'm like, why the hell am I playing this game in, in 2017? They shouldn't make it that challenging. So it was perfect. Uh, some may say like um, they didn't put enough effort into achievement, they could have done better. Or even something like they should have been 1,000 per game. Uh, yeah, the, I don't agree with that. I think this is perfect. But they did. But I'm not dissing other people's opinion. Just my opinion is that the, what they did is right. Okay, there you go. That's Darkwing Duck for you. Um, as you can it feels kind of like Mega Man, you know. Pretty fun game. I don't remember. I don't really remember playing this game back in the day, so must have missed it. I used. I, I was a big gamer even back in uh, 1990s, 19, 1989, 90, 90, 90 when these games were around. So. Alright, that's it. Um, there's other stuff. Um, I haven't really looked at them, to be honest. But you can check out the music. Got some pretty cool some electro synth type of music going on here. You can check out the Pelspin music here. They're at 1 minute 30 seconds. That's, more, that's very interesting. Maybe something to do with uh, a little bit of uh, music chip on the NES. All 1 minute 30 seconds. Hmm. The newest game, let's see. And if you haven't played uh, DuckTales Remastered on 360 or PlayStation 3, check that out as well. Uh, it was beautifully remastered and this game remastered. You and the graphics are really nice and 
It's the same game, but yeah, the graphics are really nice. I encourage you to check it out on Xbox One. It is available as a backward compatible title, so you can play it on Xbox One as well now. And let's check out the gallery. Alright, pencil to pixel, original artwork, Muse June, eyes and ends. Let's check out some original artworks. I don't want to show you everything, I mean, uh, I encourage you to play and find these. I guess I unlocked them. I don't know if it's or it was already all unlocked or it unlocked as I played. Uh, so I did uh, finish the game for all 1000. I finished all the moves. So it may have unlocked as I was playing. Uh, let me open up the achievement screen and show you the achievements again. I already talked about it all, but yeah, I want to show you them and then talk about. Uh, you know, I want to give it a score basically. So, in the order that I unlocked them, I decided to kind of take one game at a time. So I played DuckTales, and I played them in the order that was kind of presented. I played DuckTales first, I did that without rewinding. I abused save and load. Uh, I mean, I didn't have to, but I abused it anyway. Just in case, I did the DuckTales um, time attack, and then I did the boss rush. And then after that, the next game chronologically would have been Chippendale Rescue Rangers, but I decided to tackle ta Tailspin because Tailspin seemed, um, it was a new game to me, it was a playing game, it is the only non-platformer game in this uh, collection. I wanted to try that, uh, so I got that, then I completed it. For all the games, I did the boss rush first, except for uh, DuckTales because I wanted to get the feel for the boss and then I did the regular mode so I kind of understood the layout of the level and by that point I've uh, beaten the bosses two times so I was confident for time attack and then boss rush okay, and then I went back to rescue rangers I did it the same way as tailspin and then darkwing duck did that again the same way and then here is where I changed a little bit. I played DuckTales too, and then I said, ah, I'm gonna finish the boss rush first. And then I went back to DuckTales 2. Finish that. Rescue Rangers, that meant I finished all the games in the collection. And then I finished the Rescue Rangers 2 time attack for the 1000. Uh, the game that I had most trouble with was Darkwing Duck and Rescue Rangers 1. Uh, Darkwing Duck uh, I had trouble because I, I played it for the first time and I didn't really understand the controls. Uh, for Rescue Rangers, I was literally down to the wire. I finished with the last continue, last life, and I killed the boss. So if I died with that life, I would have had to do the entire time attack again. But even if I had to do that, it doesn't take too long. It's, you're, it'll be very difficult to go over two hours. Basically, if you beat the game, you got the achievement. So, like I said, they, they designed this in a not very stressful way. But it does allow you to play, enjoy everything in the game. And you get to enjoy all six games. Uh, these are really for nostalgia purposes. Achievements uh, are just a bonus, basically. So, how how hard did I find this? As a player that played all of these games, like, except for Tailspin and Darkwing Duck way back when, uh, I found all of these games very easy. Um, and there's so many speedrun videos, and they don't really use that many glitches or anything, so uh, it was very easy to follow those and uh, find out the patterns and how to get through uh, each of the games. So I had no problems uh, uh, getting all the achievements. So I would say uh, difficulty wise maybe 3 out of 10. Uh, these are not like super super easy but it's not like yeah, yeah, a normal gamer will be able to do this with some practice without like, being like really frustrated or anything. Uh, fun factor, <laughs> I 
I think if you played this game, you loved it. Uh, you're gonna love it now. Uh, it's been, you know, the games came out like 1989, 90. It's been like 25, 30 years. They still hold up well. They're they are um, well-made games. There's some spots that are cheesy and not that great, but overall they're well-made games. They're fun to play, and you get six of them for just 20 bucks. So. Three dot like three fifty for uh, per game value is really good, right? Especially like if you're if you have a Nintendo Entertainment System and you're trying to hunt down Rescue Rangers too, the cartridge is like two hundred fifty dollars. So <laughs> yeah, so finding that game uh, the actual cart unless you already own it, uh, it's gonna be hard. Uh, or like, have a lot of money right, like, laying around so yeah this is a good way to enjoy these games and yeah very very nice so i don't know how you feel about this uh, video <laughs> let me know if you liked it if you hated it whatever i'm just trying this new thing you know i every i always talk about the beginning impression and then i write about it in the blog a little bit after i complete it but uh, in video format, this is the first time. I don't really like doing reviews because uh, I don't read other people's reviews very often. I like to try to form my opinion, my own opinion. So I'm not giving it a score like yeah, this is. I'm not giving it a score like a four out of five, three out of five, or anything like that. But still, I really enjoyed this game. I showed you a little bit how it went. How long it took and I'll talk about it so if you like what you saw um yeah buy the game enjoy it have fun thank you for watching my name is English from the hidden levels um, you know, check out the links below and uh, subscribe leave a comment and I'll be back with more videos soon